Hi and welcome, I'm Bill Skolodowski from the blog of the same name, BillSkolodowski.com, where we do leadership skills development and communication coaching for network marketing professionals just like you. And I'm facing a different direction for this video. If you've watched the other videos, you'll know I was kind of looking over that way. And I do that on purpose because this week we're doing our latest why video. Why you do what you do, what motivates you, what is important to you, what gets you out of bed in the morning, what makes you focus on your business and move you forward. And this week, our why is exactly this. Challenging the status quo. People with this why are outside the box thinkers. And that's why I'm doing things a little differently. All right, I'll move, that's fine. <laughs> I don't wanna challenge the status quo that much, especially when it's my status quo. This particular why, the challenge the status quo why, really resonates with me personally. I'm a big Apple fan, I have iPhones and Mac computers and read the books about Steve Jobs. And I really do love those two words that Apple lived by for so long, still do. Think different. They really want to give some new, fresh, different thinking to the way they do things, to the products they come out with, to their whole line of business. And to me, for a network marketing professional, the think different thing, well, that's just part of the big picture for me. I'm somebody who's worked in a lot of non-traditional jobs for a lot of years. I was in radio and television and a writer and a reporter and a lot of things that were definitely not the nine to five. And so the challenging of the status quo really, really resonates with me. How about you? For a lot of people, it may not be a super strong thing. And yet, if you're in the network marketing business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're starting your own home-based business, at some level, there's a little bit of that inside of you, isn't it? Because, well, you could do the average thing. You could do a nine to five job for 40 years or more. You could take the normal course of events throughout your life. And yet, there's that little something in there that says, no, let's try something different. And for better or for worse, that's challenging the status quo. I mean, you may not think of it in strong words like that. You may think of just going your own way. That's good too. So challenge the status quo. What does that mean for you? And how does that apply for your business? People with this why often have a big variety of interests in their lives. They try all kinds of different things. And that's good when it comes to that challenging the status quo. And yet in network marketing, you may have to be a little bit mindful of focus, of making sure you're doing the important things every day. And that, for me, was another one of my big challenges out there because I can be distracted by the latest bright and shiny object out there and I get off the path of what it's taking to do for me to do to stay engaged with my business every day. People with this why, they are, of course, the innovators, artists, musicians, fashion designers of all kinds, people with new and exciting ideas. That's a really interesting way to be and a really great way to bring fresh ideas into your business as well. Now, if you are like that or if you have team members in your network marketing business who are, you know, people who like to challenge the status quo, it's a good thing and it also requires a little bit of hands-on management from you, perhaps. If you're a team leader who has people like that, and you're gonna come across them, of course, maybe you're one yourself. I know for myself, I need to do the things every day that keep me focused. So every morning for myself, I have a list of what I wanna accomplish, and I you know, check off things as I go, and then by the end of the day, you know, I know that I've gotten the things done that are moving my business forward. Challenging the status quo, that might be your why. As always, if you are interested in learning more, tune in and uh, check out the next Why Wednesday video. It'll be coming up next Wednesday, of course. Uh, if you'd like more information, somewhere on this page, on the blog page at BillSkolodowski.com is the sign up for our newsletter. Please feel free to put in your email address. We'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Along with these Why Wednesday videos, we do two or three additional new videos every week on uh, team training and mindset everything you need to uh, keep your business moving forward. Questions or comments, I read them all and respond personally, of course, so please feel free to leave those. And if you have other ideas about your own why, uh, please feel free to leave that as well. Maybe we'll extend the series as we go. So thanks again for watching, and uh, once again, tune in next week for the next Why Wednesday. I'm Bill Skladowski.